What's up, everybody? This is Brian, and um, right now I'm on a lockdown like everybody else, so that means I cannot go out fishing. Therefore, no new videos for my fishing channel. It's a shame because I kind of planned a few, and right when I was about to begin, this whole pandemic stuff happened. But hey, everybody's suffering. So I figured while I'm home and while I'm indoors that uh, I will make videos where I just talk about my knives. And today, we're gonna talk about these two Gerber survival knives. This is a Gerber Bear Grylls Ultimate Survival Knife. It's quite the mouthful, actually. Uh, so it is a fixed blade. It has a drop point design with some serration. Now here's what's weird about it. Um, I remember on the Gerber website, this only comes with serration, but there are other places that sell it fine edge. And I don't know if that's an indication that it's fake on the other stores, but yeah, just keep that in mind. Uh, it has a rubberized grip. It's actually really, really nice. It has a little nice jimp here, but because it's a cheap rubberized grip feeling thingy, uh, if I feel like it's gonna wear off pretty soon, which by the way, is not a bad thing on a knife. Right. Um, these two holes, the story behind these two holes here, apparently you're supposed to put a paracord or any kind of string that you find, right? And uh, tie it on a stick to turn this into a spear. Yep, that's what they actually say. Uh, it's the actual story behind this. I haven't tested it. Uh, it is a high carbon steel, so it's 7CR, 17MOV steel. And for a survival knife, it's kind of weird because guess what? It's a three quarter tang, which means this steel goes all the way through the handle up to this point, which is not a very good feature for a survival knife because you want a full tang all the way to the end. Uh, it does come with a little hammering pum pummel right here. Again, without the steel going through it, I feel like this is just gonna fly off. Um, it does come with this paracord tail, which is kind of cool. And this little feature at the end, this is a whistle. Yep, uh, it's actually pretty darn loud. So I, I haven't, you know, I haven't been lost in the woods to test it, but I'm guessing it is better than just shouting your name. Maybe I should have cleaned this blade a little bit before I actually did this. I recommend for this particular uh, paracord tail, to, that you remove it. I, I get that it's kind of nice to have it here, but I have heard stories where people were using this knife and I don't know what they were doing. Maybe he was trying to uh, baton some wood or put some notch into some branches. But as he was using it, this got caught in one of the branches and it got caught and he slipped and his hand went over the blade and just sliced his fingers open. So yeah, I if you're doing some heavy duty work like that, I would recommend it, it, to take this off. It comes off easily. Uh, but what's cool about this knife is not just the knife. Obviously, the reason you get this is also the sheath. The sheath is actually kind of nice. I, I like the sheath. Um, what's cool about this sheath is that it comes with its own fire starter right here. And it works perfectly well with this particular knife. If you see this part right here, it is a notch if you see this little part here that's exposed it's a scraper on the back of the knife so that you can start fire using this little stick just yeah uh that's so much fun i should probably put it away i don't know how many times uh this was tested but it feels like if you use it a lot that it would fall out because it's an upside down insert uh if you undo the velcro here this part opens up and be like, ta-da! It is an angled diamond stone sharpener. So you can be out in the field and this is a, a high carbon steel. So you can just sharpen your knife or fix minor little nicks, repair work on the blade. And I thought this was one of the coolest features. Uh, overall, the knife, uh, it does feel fairly solid, but it does feel a little gimmicky. So it's, Gimmick that actually works, you know? Everything on here works and it feels like it'll work. It doesn't feel flimsy per se. Although this one has a beefier brother, this guy. This guy is Gerber Bear Grylls Ultimate Survival Knife Pro. These names, 
So the difference to start out with, this guy is about $50 for the standard and the Pro is $100. So what is the improvement here? First of all, you do get a better blade. It is a 9CR19 MOV steel, which is a stainless steel, and it's a full tang. You can actually see it go all the way through and it goes to the pummel. It's the same rubbery grip, which I expect it to wear off. Got the two uh, spear holes. And blade design is slightly different. What's cool about this one is you see this little notch here? This is actually for your finger here. So you can hold this and use a scraper, which it also comes with, as a fine working tool. And I thought that was pretty neat. Uh, it, this one for some reason doesn't have that. It comes with a paracord tail that you might want to remove. And it's a different design whistle, but it's still a whistle. Yeah, it's... It can get pretty loud. The fire starter on this one is right side up instead of upside down. So I feel a lot more comfortable with this one because this one, after a while, you know, after it wears out a bit, any type will cause it to fall out. So this one, I feel a lot more secure. Uh, one, one thing weird about this one is the sharpener. It's not this where you have to undo the Velcro and open up. It This one is on the back here. And it is the V-shaped clear sharpening tool here. That was a very bad sharpening and I am very ashamed that I just did that. Now, what's interesting about that is this. Uh, this style of stone sharpening is the harder and more disciplined way to do it and the better way to do it is for advanced users. So I find it strange that the standard version comes with the better and harder sharpener than the pro version, which is pretty much a rookie design. It is a carbide sharpener, so I suppose it's better for the steel, but in long story short, I, I, I don't understand what that is. The pro version comes with this little tassel. I have yet to figure out what this tassel is for. It, it, it's a little flimsy. Uh, I wouldn't trust it. I wouldn't tie it to anything and let it, you know, uh, tear out, I suppose. I guess hunters just like to touch soft things that are pros. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it's just there. The belt sheath is really different in design in the back. Uh, this one only has a belt loop. This one has a belt loop, but also has a ver vertical attachments or any attachments. Like, uh, you could probably buy a different adapters and attachment for to make it moly compatible probably but i don't know why again the standard version has more options than the pro version unless they only carry a belt loop on the pro version or something this these two drop point design knives uh they are made in china <laughs> but they are Gerber and I have trusted Gerber with my life on several occasions and I'm sure a lot of my friends have also when it comes to going on in the field or uh, the military. They are made in China, but they are backed by Gerber. They are lifetime warranty. So if you break one of these, you can go ahead and send them off to uh, Gerber and they'll replace them for free or fix them. They, again, I, I mentioned this earlier, uh, they do feel a little gimmicky, but they are working gimmicks, so what's wrong with that, so to speak? I am not a big fan of Man vs. Wild. I have watched a few episodes and find them kind of amusing. But uh, if your family is going on a camping trip and uh, your children are a fan of Man vs. Wild and you guys watch that stuff together and they're a fan of Bear Grylls because uh, he's the host of Man vs. Wild, right? Uh, this... I think these will freak them out in a, all the right ways. Like, I think these things are the coolest things for children, and they're absolutely going to love it. Uh, and it might be a great way to start introducing them to uh, fixed blades and sur some survival techniques and some, you know, batoning and maybe feather sticking and maybe starting a fire. Like, all that basic stuff is great to have them all in one, and it is definitely awesome in that regard. But... I wouldn't trust my life on these things, though. Uh, I suppose if you're in a survival situation, you got to make do with what you got. But I'm not sure if these would be the first choice that I would take with me for uh, some heavy-duty action there. I have recommended these all over. I have bought them as gifts for, like, camping tricks and stuff, and they're perfect for those. How do you end these videos? Uh, see, my um, fishing channel, I have a closing little... Uh, bite, but I can't use that for these. So I say happy fishing.
Happy knifing, everybody. Yeah, that sounds wrong. Yeah, I've been like rehearsing different takes for a closing for the last 10 minutes. Um, but if you guys want to see more of this knife or have questions about it, um, I might make a short video and put them on Instagram or whatever it is. So, uh, yeah. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. As long as they're not offensive comments, I will delete and remove you and block you, whatever. So again, these are Gerber Bear Grylls Ultimate Survival uh, series of knives. All right, guys. Uh, thank you for watching this whole video and um, give me some thumbs up because I could probably use some. And see you guys next time on the next episode.